extrait, extra, the rouge alert, le extrait. What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at these new beautiful Chanel lipsticks. I don't dare to even say the name because I'm not French. I'm from the Netherlands as most of you know and I don't speak a lick of French but I think they're called the Rouge Allure L'Extre. That's the best that I can do. And let me first talk a little bit about how I got these. So they're gonna be available in America somewhere in March, but I do live in Europe, I am European, and I saw that they were already available. So I don't always have the chance to review something earlier than most of my viewers. To be honest, most of the launches are first in America and then in Europe. So when I have the opportunity to finally review something before America, I do get pretty excited. First off, let's talk about the fact that it's refillable. This is quite a new thing, I believe, for Chanel, which I really like. I like that not only do they go into like clean beauty with the number one line, now they're going into refillable. And this time around, I had the option of getting the normal Chanel packaging, let me get it. So they asked if I wanted to get this type of packaging, which is normal for Chanel, or if I wanted to get the bag packaging. So this gives me sort of Victoria Beckham Beauty vibes, as you can hear, <laughs> there is some kind of like paper filling in there. I'm gonna put this to the side. I, I don't know what to say about a bag like this, except they're always pretty handy. You can put, if you're traveling, you put your dirty laundry in here, for example. And I think they are washable, so I actually don't mind getting bags like this. It's a different type of experience because getting a little, you know, this is so fancy, it always makes me feel like, oh, okay. But it's definitely more wasteful than one of these so that is pretty interesting right that they're going this direction let me put this to the side and let's talk about the lipsticks there are 20 new satin shades and a con concentrated color finely ground coated in oil pigments unleash their full color potential this should have an eight hour wear time now what i'm trying to get this done pretty soon because it's two o'clock right now and technically i could still get an eight hour wear time for you guys today if i apply one of these bad boys on my face today so here's the thing when I was ordering this I had four of them in my basket I had two like full lipsticks sets and two refills and then I saw the end price and I thought okay maybe I accidentally pressed on the same lipstick twice because it was quite pricey y'all I was kind of like okay there must be a mistake here and then I realized you know I didn't make a mistake a, a lipstick actually cost 55 euros 55 Beep euros. I think Chanel makes some of the most beautiful lipsticks. It's probably the first or one of the first lipsticks I've ever owned was a Chanel lipstick. I think it's either Dior or Chanel and I'm a huge fan. Don't get me wrong, but 55 euros for a lipstick. Um, yeah, I was a little, I was a little bit shocked. In Dutch you would say it kind of entered the wrong throat hole, meaning I was gagged. I was a little gagged when I saw the price because the refill cost $42 or 42 euros, and that's about the same as a price of a normal Chanel lipstick. So as much as I'm here for the refillable packaging, I'm not sure if I'm here for that price. Do you know what I mean? Like I felt a little bit cheated. Sometimes you do feel like, okay, we're all, you know, we're cute, we're not being wasteful, but you also want your refills to be like significantly cheaper, right? We're queens anyway. I just amended my cart and I decided to just get two. Get one lipstick and one refill because we don't know this formula, right? It might be a formula that doesn't even agree with me. Like I think the most important thing to note is are they long wearing? Um, is it easy to get the refill in? And uh, do I think that they're a good value for the money? I'm okay with spending a bit of money for beautiful products but yeah I was just a little gagged and I do feel like that needs to be said so I got the colors 838 which is rose audacious and I got that one in a refill and I got the color 848 which is Corel sanguine both of them are made in France 18 month shelf life the refills I believe only come in 15 shades whereas the actual lipsticks come in 20. Oh my lord. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the packaging. Look at this beauty. Beautiful, nice, black, sleek packaging. How do I open this is the question. 
I feel stupid. Oh, okay, so this is pretty cool. It's a button. And then you can take this out just like that. So again, let me show you one more time. This is what the packaging looks like. You get the beautiful logo over here. The sleek on the side, it says Chanel at the bottom and you just press it in and then it just comes out. Let me swatch it. It feels so creamy. And this is all filmed in natural lighting. So no studio lighting here, this is it. I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I wanted to get spring colors, so that's why I got this one. I was also hoping that this coral color would look great with my new coral blush, and let me apply it. There is a sort of smell it smells like oils. You can take this down again. It is highly pigmented. I'm gonna be honest with you, it does look really pretty. It's, who I can't really place the smell anywhere, but I'm very, very interested in this formula. It feels soft, it's creamy. You know, it, there's definitely pigment coming off. I wonder how long it, it will last, honestly. I can't imagine this lasting for eight hours straight because there's no dry down. But you know, I'm ready to be proven wrong. The packaging it is something to be, you know, stunned about. So the original packaging, if you, if I should get one of the Rouge uh, Coco Bombs out there, they do have the beautiful logo. Both of them have that beautiful logo. But this is a straight packaging and this is sort of curved if you know what I mean. This one also breaks in the middle and it's much of a thicker bullet than if you use this newer one. Now I'm gonna show you guys a refill version. This is the refill that I have. So check this out. I don't even know how to present this to you. It is, it is small, it is tiny. And you could, I think, use the refill like this, no? No. Nope. So this is interesting, right? You can't use the refill on its own. So if you buy this, and this is 42 euros, you have to insert it in the refillable packaging at the bottom or else you can't twist it open. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna see if I could take this out. Okay, so that was pretty easy. You just pull it out and you can put the lid of the other one on top of it to save it and then this one clicks in no problem and then you can twist it out so this is my rose colored one let me put rose audacious on my lips Okay, so color-wise, um, very beautiful colors. I like that the bullet is a little bit smaller than the original bullet. I will say, now that I look at it from side to side, the original is a little bit thicker uh, than the newer bullets. As you can see that there is a change between them, so they, they aren't the same in size. And I will say that application-wise, I, I did think the application looks a little rough. I would like to do this with a lip liner, and I was hoping that because it was so small, it would be easy to apply, but they are highly pigmented. They are advertised to be highly pigmented. They feel like a satin. They look incredibly glossy, and it makes my lips look really luscious, and I really like that. I do think that the other one looks better with the look that I'm using or that I have on today. So I probably will switch out the lipsticks one more time uh, after this video is done because I wanna wear the more corally shade. This is the more pinky shade, of course. Packaging-wise, I think it's a win. Uh, Price-wise, 
Again, I was a little gagged, but we can't really judge these lipsticks just yet. The best thing to do is to wear one for at least eight hours, and then I'll get back to you after that. In eight hours, it's going to be completely dark here, so I'm going to have to use a synthetic light uh, to do the final end of this video. Eight hours later. All right, guys, we're back here now. It is, let me check the time. It's about... 10 o'clock yep it just turned 10 so that means that the lipstick has been on for almost eight hours exactly first off let me talk about the lighting i can't do natural lighting at 10 o'clock at night if i did natural lighting only it would mean that we would be sitting in the dark right now so this is filmed with mm, a little ring light and therefore the color is maybe a little different but what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom you in we're gonna look at the color we're gonna look at my hand because as you can see the swatches have not left my hand which means these are quite pigmented and they do stain which is why I think they sort of work but let me gather my thoughts these are the lips as they look right now and as you can see there is a little bit of color left after eight hours i ate guys so i had dinner i was kissing my my son and what is left is completely it's like impossible to get off you this is what it's left so what is left is sort of the staining in those eight hours you're gonna eat you're gonna do things you're gonna maybe put on a mask yes there is at some point in time there is a dry down I didn't think that they were ever gonna dry down but at some point in time there was a dry down and all of a sudden you could just do anything like wear a mask and you would still have a little bit of color left the staining I think it looks really nice I think it actually just looks like my lips are my lips but better and a little bit more coral peach toned but let's be honest guys I and I'm gonna be honest by myself uh, when I see eight hours wear time especially with a satin formula I'm kind of like yeah right right C like come on did we really expect they were gonna just last eight hours like at full opacity because I wasn't and I still bought these anyway I think the best thing to do is to apply the lipstick again on half my lips and then you can see how much of the pigment is left. So on this side you have the full opacity and on this side you have what my lips look like after eight hours. There is a massive difference. It's up to you to consider this an eight hour successful wear test or not. If you want to ask my opinion, I, you know, I honestly didn't think they were going to last eight hours anyway. Like, let's be real, when there's a satin formula and not a matte formula, the chances of it lasting eight hours was quite, you know, it was just, it was not done. Like, honestly, I didn't think it was going to happen. I, what I thought was going to happen, it would stain the lips and then slowly fade away. And it's exactly what happened. Nevertheless, the way it stained I thought looked really beautiful. I actually did think my lips were really nice at the end of the day for an, an eight hour wear test. And I actually really liked the formulas. I think the packaging is truly stunning. Like that idea of doing a refill like this, I, I find this much more uh, pleasing than for example the new fancy one the fancy one is fun you see me have fun during that video especially but okay there is something about it that makes it kind of i guess gimmicky looking whereas this makes me feel like oh it's practical it's chic it it makes me feel like you know it can't all of a sudden click around in my bag i don't know there's something about this that really just yeah I, I like this packaging. I can't really describe it as you can tell. It's 10 o'clock at night guys. Please forgive me for just, you know, not being able to speak Dutch, English or any other language. But there's something about this packaging that is truly magic. I love the sleekness to the, of the sides. I love the fact that this logo is in gold in print. I like the way that you can just click it and the mechanism works really well. I actually think that it was very easy to get the refill in and out. 
and it looks stunning as a lipstick as a whole. My one sort of sadness with this is you can't twist up your refill. So you have to, you have to buy the external packaging with it, at least one of them, or else you can never uh, twist up your bullet. So I think that is a little bit of a, dare I say, cash grab, especially because they are quite expensive. Also, let me just compare this little refill bullet to something that I own. This might be an interesting comparison. This is an ice to mesmerize. I this is oyster pearl just for the fun of it and if i put them next to each other you can sort of see the size of this little bullet i bet there are bullets that are bigger than this like actual bullets so it is it isn't large <laughs> um let me put the net weight down below because of course i'm too tired to find the net weight for you i'm so sorry worst youtuber ever nevertheless i approve the packaging of this very much so so formula packaging great wear time up to you to the side i think it was meeting my expectations so i'll prove that as well price yeah is it is it good value for money <laughs> okay let's be honest it's not really better value for money than a normal chanel lipstick you have to enjoy this packaging you have to enjoy this formula and the colors that they have for you to say is worth your money to splurge on if you ask me i think that i'm happy to own one or two of these in my collection i don't necessarily need all shades in this formula i think it's an acceptable formula i like the bullet and I want to have one of these in my collection. So I would suggest you to get one or two and then maybe stop there. So I don't think there was anything bad to say about this. I think I proved everything now on like all the chords. So why am I being hesitant on giving you my final thoughts? I think because even though it's a great formula and even though it's a great bullet, I truly also feel in the deepness of my heart that you can get truly luxury beauty lipsticks even from the chanel line that aren't 55 dollars so i guess that's maybe my gripe my my problem with ending this video is there's part of me that wants to say like yeah get them and at the same time i'm also kind of like the formula is sort of per expectation it did all right the eight hour wear test was fine do you get what i mean like there was a little there's no wow necessarily. I think the only wow to me was the packaging. But, you know, the packaging is pricey. Uh, yeah, I'm not really making any sense. Maybe it's just too late and I shouldn't do videos like this when it's like this late at night. Anyway, let's just sign off over here. And yeah, thank you all so much. Okay, guys, so let's end the video here. Subscribe to my channel if you like luxury beauty. Some of the brands that I like to follow are, well, Chanel is one of them, Charlotte Tilbury, Lisa Eldridge, Westman Atelier, Victoria Beckham Beauty, and lately I've been really into Natasha Denona. I did buy Natasha Denona's newer I Need a Rose uh, lipsticks. I bought two of them because, uh, I'm going to be honest, they kind of looked very similar, all of them, but I did want to try the lipstick formulation, and I bought a liner as well. Hopefully that will be in the mail, I think, tomorrow, and I can film that right away for you guys as well. If you want to see that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, or if you like any of the other brands that I just mentioned, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. In terms of Charlotte Tilbury, I ordered the Pillow Talk Dreams palette. This should be a Pillow Talk palette, but then in the formulation of the uh, Fire Rose palette. I ordered it from a Ukrainian website because currently it is available in the Ukraine and some countries in Asia. Because I'm in Europe, I decided to order it. It cost me a buttload of money, so I hope it is <laughs> worth every single penny. But nevertheless, if you want to see that, I'm hoping to get that out for you pretty soon as well. If you liked anything about this video, you thought it was helpful in any way, certain shape or form, please make sure to like this video. Likes is a sort of way where I could draw feedback from and I know that, okay, you guys appreciate content like this. I'll make sure to upload more videos like this. If you have any questions regarding these lipsticks, please make sure to comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.